Jeremy Clarkson, 62, has furiously supported his farm manager Caleb Cooper's actions after the Clarkson's farm star grew concerned about a drone circling Diddley's squat last week. Caleb found himself at the receiving end of a major complaint when he threatened to shoot down the drone, which belonged to fans of Jeremy. However, Jeremy has now insisted that people should be on Caleb's side, rather than supporting two weirdos who get their kicks by taking footage through the bedroom windows of other people's houses. The drone enthusiast, Andrew Dickinson, wanted to film Diddley Squat Farm from above, after the site became famous around the world on the hit Amazon Prime video docuseries Clarkson's Farm. Jeremy, however, was not impressed when he saw the drone hovering near his bedroom and bathroom windows and flying past the farm's security systems. The TV star began worrying that the drone was aiming to invade his girlfriend Lisa Hogan's privacy and trying to get some footage of, her, in the shower, or attempting to case the joint. Detailing his fears about the drone's arrival in his latest column for the Sunday Times, Jeremy explained, as a general rule, the only reason an ordinary man might buy one is that he's a pervert or a burglar. That's why I was a bit concerned to discover the other day that a drone was buzzing around outside my house. In a bid to help Jeremy, Caleb went out to try and track down the operators of the drone, and, when he found the fans, threatened that he would shoot the device down if they didn't land it immediately. The fans filmed their conversation, and, in audio obtained by Mail Online, Caleb could be heard asking if Mr. Dickinson and his friend would like if it he came to your house and filmed. Mr. Dickinson claimed to the publication, we're both fans of Clarkson's farm. I was flying a drone over the property when Caleb Cooper drove up to me in a truck demanding that I land it immediately. I wasn't parked on his land and was perfectly entitled to fly the drone. Caleb threatened to shoot the drone down if I didn't land it even after I explained the drone laws to him and was not breaking any laws that day flying over the farm. He was swearing at us, asking how we'd like it if he flew a drone over our house. He was quite aggressive, but there was no need for it. Despite his argument, Jeremy has suggested he believes Caleb's actions were quite reasonable. Questioning the reports, the former Top Gear host fumed in his column, seriously, it said that anyone could fly a drone over my farm that the Herberts were just fans. He also disputed claims that Caleb was driving a pickup without a front number plate at the scene, insisting that due to the farm manager's job, it was just muddy. Jeremy blamed the British public's love of the underdog and some fans siding with Mr. Dickinson, rather than supporting Caleb. The star argued, it's a slightly weird national characteristic. A spokesperson for Clarkson's farm also said, having drones fly over private land can be very frustrating. In addition, Caleb and other farmers know how much drones can scare cattle and these cattle were in calf. Caleb's comments reflect how seriously he takes his cattle's welfare. 